Another rookie that's been playing really well as of late is Alexis Pokazewski from the OKC Thunder. And, I mean, when you watch him play, you can see that this guy, some of the things he does, he's not supposed to be able to do at his height. He's seven foot, but he can handle the ball. He can shoot. I mean, he's a really good passer. This guy looks like a unicorn. He looks like a Kristaps Porzingis clone, even though I think coming into the league, Kristaps was more ready. To start off the year, I mean, hit, I mean, Pokazewski's stats right now, he's averaging about eight points, five rebounds, two assists per game. He's shooting 34% from the field and 29% from the three-point line. He went to the G League, and in the G League, he averaged eight points, seven <laughs> rebounds. He shot 31% from the field and 27% from the three-point line. So he was bad to start the year and in the G League. But he recently was brought back up by OKC, and he said that he improved a lot, and he had to get used to the quickness and the pace of the American game. And it seems like he's finally adjusting to the game. In his last five games, he's averaging 18, 5, and 3, shooting 45% from the field and 46% from three. He dropped 21 on the Mavs, 20 on the Suns, and 25 on the Charlotte Hornets. Who do you think Alexis Pokazewski is going to be? Do you think this is just a hot streak, or do you think you really see something in this guy? I think he's not. I don't even think he's a Porzingis clone. I think he's the next generation of bigs coming in, you know. The mobile, the Evan Mobley's, the Shet Holmgren, the, the very skinny mobile bigs. Because I think with Porzingis, he has, he's a little flat-footed. You know, he doesn't have that bounce. I think, what's, what's this guy's name? Poku. We just call him Poco. Yeah. yeah, I think with Poco, you could see that like he has a little more bounce to him. He's a little more jumpy, and he has a little more vertical than most bigs at his size. But you can see it all. You know, unicorns are the guys that you just can't explain. He's kind of like seven three. You know, he can shoot the ball. He has a little. You can see the flashes at the playmaking. You can see the defensive potential, the help side defense. You can see it all. And I think this guy is in the right position. OKC has shown that they can develop talent. I think he's in a perfect position to grow, and I think. In terms of unicorn, yeah, because this is a guy we haven't. This is like he like he he fits the mold of like a KD Dirk. Like he's built like KD, has the little Dirk jump shot. Like this guy is extremely different. And I think OKC's got a bright one. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Like we had the same kind of conversation about Moses Brown. I think last week. Um, you know, I don't know if he's exactly a diamond in the rough. I don't know if he'll ever reach like that level where you could call him a diamond in the rough, but I think this is another guy you could see as a part of their rotation over the next coming years. They have all these draft picks, and I think it's just another example of finding a guy with potential in, you know, I believe he was a, a late-round pick, right? 17th pick in the draft. So it's not like, you know, they're finding good value at the places that they're picking at. They're finding good value in their undrafted guys. So I think that this is more of a, a good sign reflecting on the organization and what they're doing and their scouting staff as they approach 34 picks over the next, I think it's like 34 picks over the next seven years or something like that, which is ridiculous. So to see that they're able to find guys like Moses Brown, they're able to find guys like Poku, like Teo Maladon, like it just goes to show how, how good of a job their scouting department is doing. And now these are guys who... I think could play roles on cheap contracts over the next couple of years as they're bringing in star level talent with these high level picks that they're picking at. And I just think it's a great sign for the direction the organization is headed in, not only scouting, but also development. You could see the development in, in Poku's game from game one to now. You could see when he went down to the G League, even though the numbers weren't eye-popping, he said it, the coaching staff has said it, it's the best thing that could have happened to him. It really opened his eyes. So they know how to handle their guys. They know how to get the most out of their guys. And I just think the organization looks great right now, heading into a situation where they're going to need it. Yeah, I, I wanted to draft Pokazewski. You know, I thought Poku had unlimitless potential because he's seven foot, he can handle the ball, and he can shoot. Every single time I start a my league in 2K, that's one of the guys I draft. <laughs> because on 2K, he develops into a superstar all the time. You know, Poku, is, he develops into that type of player. I think that he has immense talent. I think he has way more talent than Moses Brown. I think Moses Brown is good, but I don't think the talent is there with Poku. I think Poku just offers a different element to his game. Because he's such a great shooter, obviously the percentages don't show that. But when you see his shooting stroke and his form, 
you can see that he appears to be a, a guy who's going to be able to shoot the ball really well at the next level. And you mentioned the guys that OKC has brought in. I love Teo Maladon's game. Since Shea has been out, he's taken that lead point guard role. And even when Shea was playing, Teo Maladon has been playing that point guard role, and he's been really excelling in that role. But, man, I think Poku, right now, I don't know if it's a hot streak or if it's just hey, this is how he's going to be for the rest of the season. But I believe he's one of, in one of the games, I think he was the first player to do that since Kevin Durant. Like, so he's in some pretty good company when you get into Kevin Durant company. Like, that's some that's amazing company to be in, but very nice motion on his shot. He has good handle. He shows flashes as a passer. I'm not sure about his defense because he's slow to guard. He's too slow to guard wings and guards, and he's way too skinny to guard big men. I mean, he has to put some muscle on him, you know, next offseason. But, I mean, I think they really got something special in Poku. I think Minnesota drafted him and they traded him to OKC. You're right. I'm pretty yeah, they they traded him to OKC. I like them going to Minnesota. There's another guy who got drafted who's European that I really like, Leandro Balmero. That has not played, played yet. yet. Yeah, he hasn't played. He hasn't played yet. I think he's gonna probably gonna play next year, but I like Didn't him. Did you trade him? Yes. And and the crazy thing is he's only nineteen years old. And you talked about putting weight on. I remember just an example, Jared Allen with the Nets. I knew you could see how much potential Jared Allen had, but it was always a question of how is he going to fit defensively because he wasn't quick enough to guard threes and fours, but he wasn't big enough to guard fives. And it was always if he could just put on another 20 pounds of muscle, he would be great. And he's now putting on that muscle, yep. and you saw what he was doing with the Nets. You see what he's doing with the Cavs now. So, you know, give him a little bit of time. He's only 19 years old. He's got a lot of time in an NBA program to get his body where it needs to be. And I think he can he can be at least, you know, a, a really solid role player for this team moving forward. So Teo Melendon and Alexis Pogoszewski are the first players in OKC history to score 25-plus points in a game each uh, that are teenagers. Wow. wow. And Alexis Pogoszewski has already set the franchise record for most threes hit in a game by a rookie. I'm not. I'm trying to find the Kevin Durant thing because I know there was. Some no, I just Kevin seen Durant it on thing. Twitter. Yeah, I've seen it on Twitter too. I, can, I don't think I could really find it, but I mean, I know he was in that type of company. But both Teo Maladone and Alexis Pokashevsky are really talented. But Poku, I could see him becoming the NBA's next unicorn, setting that foundation for guys like Chet Holmgren when they come into the league. Guys who can handle the ball and shoot and pass. I mean, we are entering a new era in the NBA, and I think it's going to be really interesting to watch.